Good Saturday afternoon, Rad Rod Bikes. This is Odd Job. Trying to stay warm <laughs> in the confines of the back 40. We've got a, we had a freezing night last night and we've got a wind out there this morning. And, and we've got uh, temps in the high 40s at noon on a Saturday in October. But we're inside the confines of the back 40 here. We've got Big Ten football on the TV. The Hoosiers are hanging with the Wolverines currently. So, it's always interesting. I'm a Big Ten fan. Uh, one son is a Badger, graduate of UW-Madison, Wisconsin. And the other one is a Gopher, graduate of UW-UM, Minnesota. So here's the current status of the 50 SS, 50 year old 1971 Schwinn racer turned single speed. We got the tires on, we got the pedals on the cranks and turning smoothly. The sound of a free spinning freewheel. And it's uh, fairly hilly around here, so this is a fairly easy gear, 40 by 16. I believe Steve uh, SD Frame was saying that that comes out to just right around, just below 2.5, about 2.35 or something percentage gears. So that should work pretty good for my old knees. Do not have the brake hooked up yet, but I've got it set so that the pads are going to be right and um, the reason that's not hooked up is because I don't have a, a steering column <laughs> so to speak this headset in these old Schwinn's and I'm sure many of you have encountered it um, doesn't allow for your your more standard 22.2 .2 stem all that fits in here is the 21.1. So I had a couple kind of cool stems that I was hoping to use. I really like this guy, this Callan, but it's 22.2. And as you can see, the stem bolt goes in because I monitor. I took that off of a skinnier one, but it's not going to make it. So I perused the parameters of the bay. And I have a 21-1 similar stem coming. Should be here on Tuesday. So the only one that actually works is this 21-1. This might have been the one that came in the bike, actually. But when you look at this, it's obviously not very roady like It doesn't nearly extend out as far as I need it to. Seeing as how I'm going to use a regular... The standard seat post that came with this bike and uh, I got to stretch my six foot one frame out over this somehow so so the stems on the way that keeps us from uh, making any moves with handlebars and then of course that keeps us even further away from getting the the brake hooked up yet so so there's not a whole lot um, I'm going to do with this. I, I will not be painting it. I like the paint. The paint's in good shape. I might do a little coat, clear coat or something over it to keep the brilliance. Um, clean up some of the rust spots possibly with them. I know you can get the touch-up paint for this Schwinn color. So I might do that. But the old and new mix works for me as well. One thing I am going to do that I really enjoyed uh, looking at bikes on the internet with this feature are wood fenders. I'm going to do wood fenders. And I've done a couple wood fenders already. My uh, fat bike that I built a few years ago and actually first posted here on RRB had these custom wood fenders 
that I featured on my Instructables site, which is also username Oddjob. I know uh, Swiss guys on there, and probably a few of you others as well. So I made this. This is for my fat bike. And then my next venture was the Woody Shelby Flyer. And uh, that had a lot of wood on it already, so I figured why not throw some wood fenders on as well. And uh, they're kind of cool. So that's my, that's my uh, project, my more customized project for this build. And yesterday I went to Rockler Woodworking and picked up this nice piece of ash. <clears throat> anyway, it's already trimmed down to the 1 8 inch dimension. And they're two feet long, so they'll be long enough for a, to get a fender out of here. And now I'm just checking out to see how wide I want the fender to be. I want it to be monstrously wide, but it should cover to do the job. So somewhere about like that on the inside of the stays. So it fits through the fork and, the, and then the rear stay as well. But be mounted off of the brake brake mount hole there so and then we of course have fender mounts back here in the rear dropout area because it came with fenders as well as one down here by the kickstand so anyway that's what I'm going to get started on today I will run these through the table saw to get them to be the right width dimension and then my patented method for getting them to fit, or to curve rather, is I wrap them in super hot towels. As hot as water as I can get out of my laundry sink, which is right next to the water heater. And soak them for about an hour or so, really hot. Run them through the water a couple times. And then what I'll do is I'll take the wood. What happens is it, it softens up all the cells in the wood and allows it to be molded. So then I'll take the wood and I'll clamp it to this form that I made way back when for the fat bike. And the dimension of the wheel is pretty close, radius-wise. And that will be my form that I will shape the fenders on. Leave that overnight, and then when the cells in the wood dry, they take their new shape, and they pretty much stay like that. And mounting them with uh, stays on the bicycle, of course, helps keep them as well. So, anyway, just a little update from the Chili Back 40, which is not quite as chilly when you're standing right in front of this propane flower heater. But it's, uh, it's at least sunny outside, if not warm. Hope you're having a good one. This is Odd Job signing off from the back 40. Right on.